Today, I want to talk about credit cards. And I know what some financial experts want you to think, but credit cards are not evil. Okay, there's actually a lot of um, pros to credit cards. It's really how you use them and your own behavior that dictates whether or not you should have credit cards, if maybe you should cancel them, if you should literally freeze them in the freezer so you don't use them. Um, but you know, what I want to stress to you and what your goals should be with this whole financial picture of your life and what you want to do with it is to leave options open. And having credit cards leaves your options open and it helps your credit score. And I know some people say not to worry about your credit score, but in the world that we live in, most likely you do need to worry about your credit score. But if you can't control your spending, if you are consistently overspending on your credit card because it's just mindless shopping, you know, adding to cart online, swiping it at the grocery store, yes, you should take a break from using your credit cards. Focus on the basics, get your budget together, use cash envelopes, do those other things to reset your spending and your mindset around money. And if you have like 30 credit cards, yes, close some credit cards, but that doesn't mean that credit cards are evil or bad. They do give you options. Um, you can earn reward points and things like that. Um, generally speaking, we do overspend when you're using your credit card. Studies have shown that you question the purchases differently and you spend on average 15 to 20% more when you use a credit card. But once you change your mindset around money and your spending and only spend on the credit card what you actually have and plan to spend, they can be used as a good tool. So it really depends on where you are at in your financial journey. But that doesn't mean that you should cut them all up, freeze them, close all the accounts, because that really does limit your choices and your options further on down the road. And there's a lot of, um, reasons that you need to keep your credit score high, but that doesn't mean that you should go into debt and do things that you know you shouldn't just for your credit score. So it really depends on where you're at in your financial journey and what you need to work on. So if you are really struggling with overspending and you're consistently overdrawing your account, you're using your credit card because you don't have enough money in the bank, yes, Put those credit cards somewhere you can't use them delete the numbers from the auto save in your phone and your credit cards you can't just hit add <laughs> and stop using them but that doesn't mean that you need to close the accounts unless you really are like way too tempted and know that you will use it anyway and if you have like 30 of them, you don't need 30. You can have like one, maybe two, just to keep open on your credit report. But you don't need 30. <laughs> and you don't need to try and play the reward game or the balance transfer game. Like that's just not really a good use of your time and resources. Focus on the basics, get your budget together, focus on paying off your debt, creating a plan to do that and to stop using the credit cards and once you get to a point where you are comfortable using the credit cards, you're only using them for things that you already plan and have money to purchase. You're not just mindlessly swiping the card or using it online because it's just easier. So there are pros and cons to keeping your credit cards and using your credit cards. And like I said, it really does depend on where you're at in your financial journey and your mindset because financial, uh, peace and getting to where you want to go with your goals is mainly about mindset and how and your own behavior. So just like credit cards aren't evil, money's not evil. Um, you know, it's just a tool. And so credit credit cards and having those options available to you is a tool when you need them. But right now, if you are consistently overdrafting your account, you're living paycheck to paycheck. Put the cards away. Focus on what you have right now available to you and put the cards away like you do not have them.
okay? If you have a bunch of cards, especially like store credit cards, you can go ahead and just go ahead and close those. Okay, but if you have just like a general credit card one or two, like I said, not 10, not 20, not 30, not a bajillion store cards, okay? One or two that you just leave open as options, keep your credit score up, um, so that you have those resources available to you if you need them, especially when you don't have any savings and you don't want to take those options away from yourself until you can have money saved that you don't need that, like if something happens. But I want you to focus on what you actually have, what your actual income is, how much you really have saved and only spend that. Like your credit cards are put away, you don't have that option right now unless like a major emergency happens and that's only if you cannot come up with another way to uh, pay for it. So I don't want you to completely take those options away from you, but they are not, it's not a debit card, okay? We don't wanna use it like a debit card, but it is there until you can build your savings up and get everything together, but act like you don't have them. So if you need to cut them up, if you need to delete them out of your auto saves, if you need to um, actually freeze them or you know, in the freezers, you can't see the cards or you know, whatever you need to do so you don't use them on mindless spending, do what you need to do until you can get in a rhythm and get your finances together and get your plan together. But I don't want you to just completely take away those options and those that choice um, of closing the credit cards and not having that at all. So credit cards themselves are not evil. There are pros and cons. And as long as you are making mindful decisions, they can help you in the long run. But keep in mind, I said mindful decisions, not mindlessly spending and you know using them to buy a bunch of stuff on Amazon that you do not need. So we gotta be grownups here, put on your big girl pants and do what you need to do so that you can get your finances in order. And if that means putting the credit cards away, then do it. All right, guys, let me know below. Are you going to get rid of your credit cards right now? Stop using them. Let's, um, you know, Commit to not using your credit card, only using what you actually have and can spend for the rest of this month. Comment below yes or you don't know. If you don't wanna do it, if, if you think you are and you are responsible with your credit card, say, no, I'm good. I'm gonna use my credit cards for points and I'm gonna be responsible with them. If you are gonna take a break and kinda of cleanse yourself from just mindlessly spending, kinda of reset your mindset and your credit card so you can get caught up on them, uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, comment below and I will talk to you soon.